We got cut off there. Something happened. I don't know. Everyone wanted to talk to me today about what happened in Pittsburgh. And the, I'll tell you, you know, the, I, I work with the Native Americans in the institution where I work. I'm not the Native Institution. And we have a chaplain now for the Native Americans. And in addition to some of the institutionalized people, institutionalized persons asking me, you know, extending their condolences. The, the chief, and our, our chaplain, came and, you know, he said, you know, I'm so sorry for what happened to your people, and I want to ask you permission if we can offer our prayers to the Creator. They believe in, in one God, that's the Creator, although they pay homage to lesser spirits out of respect, but it's not out of worship. And I said, yes, of course. And he said, you know, he wouldn't do that without asking my permission first because it's my people. But the thing is, this was an attack not just on the Jewish people, this was an attack on America. This was an attack on the foundations of America. And so we're all our people in the chutzpah. And there's this girl, Julia Ionia or something, I don't know what her name is. And she wrote on the on Twitter that all the Gentiles should just, the well-meaning Gentiles should shut up. Ugh, chutzpah, disgusting thing to say. So this is not your time to speak. Yes, it is, because we're all Americans. This was an attack on the foundations of America. This country has a long history. Back to George Washington further, really, of unity between Christians and Jews. And the beauty of what happened in Pittsburgh, of how our Muslim neighbors, our brothers and sisters, also came to offer their love and their sakat, their sadaka, to be unified with us for all children of Abraham and Isaac. All children of Abraham. Excuse me. Kivi Yitzchak and Karel Chazara, who are still children of Abraham. The chutzpah to make this political when it shouldn't be. But I, I myself, I said to one of my colleagues in another institution who was reaching out to me, and I said, you know, it's so painful that this has been politicized, but I myself face the same temptation politicize this. But again, people want to blame President Trump for what happened. And then this person hated President Trump. So it, could, it makes more sense to blame the people who hate President Trump. Not blaming high ass. But if they're no longer your bubby's high ass, as they openly say, so maybe they should just become high ass and drop the H. Who do we need it for? Rav too, they're doing the real work. Like I said in, the pre in, the, in another video. But it touched me very warmly how the chief asked me this. But it's all of our people. This person, he hurt himself also by doing such a thing. He hurt his own soul. He's probably the one who had who had the most damage by this event. You know, I don't mean to bring something from a secular source, but you know. Star Wars, right? When Obi-Wan Kenobi puts down his lightsaber, he tells Darth Vader, I'm going to be stronger after you kill me. And Darth Vader, he went over to the dark side. 
even more. He was that's when he was really damaged when he killed his own teacher. And here we are. This country of America wouldn't be here without the Jewish people, the people of the Torah. In a certain way, there's more strength now. He sent these people to the highest levels of heaven, and he sent himself to the lowest depths of hell, this Bowers. And so, in a sense, he's really the victim of his own hatred. Because we are all one. And reflecting on this, I have to speak at the graduation ceremony tomorrow. And... lot about you know JTS they used to have a radio show and a TV show I think it was called the Eternal Life uh, Eternal Light and uh, Leo Rostin brings in the joys of Yiddish under the heading of Kaddish that we say Kaddish When we come, when we change the chapters in our prayers, in our liturgy, we turn to the Kaddish. Yiskadel, Yiskadish, Meirab. Finish the Karbanos, Kaddish Darabana. We finish the Pesukah de Zibra. There's the Chatzik Kaddish. Wasn't the need to be Semach Gula the Tefillah would be Kaddish after Kriyashma for the Shmanesri. But we don't have that. But after the Shmanesri, we go to the next chapter. And we have a Chatzik Kaddish after the Tachnan. And then after Ashri and Uvutzian, Kaddish Sholem. Same thing. Mincha after Ashri, Kaddish after Shmanesri, after Tachnun, if you say Tachnun, Kaddish, after Olenu, Kaddish. Marev might say Kaddish before the Vuhurachim also. And then another Kaddish before, after the Pirkus Krishma, and then another Kaddish after Shmanesri. And you might say Shilamalus and another Kaddish. And then Elenu and another Kaddish. Everything is connected by Yiskadil of Yiskadish Mirab. And so too, when a person when it comes to the end of the chapter of their life, which is a chapter in the history of the world, Kaddish. Yiskadil of Yiskadish Mirab. God's name should be made great, sanctified. talk about the dead in the Kaddish. We talk about how great God is and our hopes for the future. Because that's the point of the Kaddish. To provide a means of connection. To connect one chapter to the other. To show that everything is unity in time and in space. It's the story of Rabbi Naomi Levy mind to call her rabbi if that's the title she wants to use. She wrote a whole book about Einstein and the rabbi. About a chaplain in the American Army, an Orthodox rabbi. He saved thousands of children after the war. Among them, Elie Wiesel. He couldn't save his own son. He came home grieving. Who did he turn to? He didn't turn interesting. He didn't turn to a Shashiva, didn't turn to a Rebbe, didn't turn to a Rav. He turned to Einstein. And I'll paraphrase Einstein 
essentially said that, you know, there's, um, Optical delusion, to quote Leo Gorsi from the Bowery Boys. I wonder if Einstein was a fan of the Bowery Boys. I, I mentioned this to Leo Gorsi's daughter a few months ago. That we believe that because, you know, the, the fact of the matter is we are a part of a unity throughout time and space we call the universe and we think we're separate because we're limited in our bodies and time and space but the fact is that we are all very intimately connected and Einstein said that the purpose of all true religion is to remember how much we are all connected and to, not to feed into this delusion but to remove it and while we can honor our religions and our differences in our own cultures, and we don't all have to be the same, nor should we all be the same. We should find pride in who we are. But we should know both as individuals and as members of larger groups and associations we should remember that we are all connected. We are all one. There is a unity that we all share, no matter our political affiliations, no matter our religions, no matter our race, and not only as human beings, but through it, with all of nature, with, with all of the physical and spiritual world. I like how the Native Americans say they're all our relations. We're all related. We're all connected. As much as we might disagree with the mythos and logos of Darwinism and so forth, but Essentially, you know, uh, we are all related. We're all created by one creator. We're all connected. From one end of the universe to the other, it's all nothing before him. Kulay can make away choshev. We're all connected to God. Well connected to our Creator, to our Maker. And that's the purpose of all true religion, is to recognize that. You know, I was reading a story about there were two Hasidic Eden in, in India, and they went to see a guru. And 93-year-old guru. And uh, they asked him, is it true that you're Jewish? And he said, yes, he was born to a Jewish family, an Orthodox Jewish family. But he said that, you know, there's a lower level of religion and a higher level of true spirituality that transcends religion. And the rabbis answered back, If you don't love your own family, you're fooling yourself if you think you love the world. But part of loving your family doesn't mean hating people who are not in your family, but recognizing that they're part of your extended family. We're all the children of Adam. We all have one father. We have one father on earth, Adam. And we have one father in heaven. 
And so we really have to overcome hatred and learn to love. Learn to love ourselves, learn to love our families, learn to love our communities, learn to love the world. Let's try to put aside our differences and, and try to find unity. All right. At this point I want to have a mikvah again, even though it's freezing cold, but it's... Um, I think it's a way I can feel some unity. I haven't been to the mikvah since Friday. It was also the same lake. I didn't go to a hot mikvah. I don't think I've been to a hot mikvah since a week ago Friday, and that was in Squirrel Hill. It wasn't even a hot mikvah. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It wasn't hot, for sure not. But we're all connected. All right. Thank you. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe.